could eat it and you could eat it with a plate. Close your eyes and count. Okay, what are they counting to? Three or four. They gonna count to three or four? Yes. Okay. Okay, get the cook, get the stuff. Count. One, two, three, four. You're gonna drop it like Close that. Close your eyes. One, two. Special. Four. Special donut. If you wash your hands, you can eat it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right. So let's show them what we have today. One second. Uh -uh. All right, so this is what we got today. What is this? Our donuts, yum. My friend is Just be patient and wait. Okay. Okay, so tell them what are we doing today? So today we're going to eat our donuts. This is our special donuts for today. If you wash your head, you can eat it. And guess what? In this bottom, look at that number. It has lots of donuts. So let's show them what the inside of the donuts look like, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so turn it around. Ooh. Let's taste them. They're going to be good. Okay, so which one Which one are we going to try first? This one. We're not going to try the plain one first. We got to try one of these first. Okay. I do this one. The chocolate. Ooh, I don't like chocolate. Well, let me taste it. Mmm. Is this it good? Is, yeah, it is good. I'll leave one slice there. Mm. I think this one has this one has like a filling or something in it. So something is inside. Okay? <laughs> Alright, ready? No, no, you can eat it. You can eat that. You can eat it. Alright, bite it. Mm. That is good. You know like how icing used to be back in the day when you could taste the icing color? Ugh. Mm -mm. I don't like that. It's good. But the purple... I, this is supposed to be edible. So bite your, get your cookie or your candy. Mm. Alright, let's bite it. Mm hmm Okay. So you think this is good? It is good. I eat all of them. Alright, let's get a napkin. One second. Might I eat more? Yes, we gotta try all of them. Okay. Alright, get the pink one with the sunglasses. I mean glasses. Okay. How can you eat it? Yes, you can eat the glasses too. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. You like it? I do. You can taste the color of the icing. Oh my god. This should have been worked on. I feel like in today's world, they could have did better with the mm. tasting of the icing. Alright, so you're eating... Okay, so this is not quite like the cookie that we've been into, so that's okay. Good? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Have a good time. Not that one, that's the plain one. She wants the plain one so bad. All right, pick it up. Let's see, yuck or good. All right, you gotta show it to the camera. 
Ooh. Yuck. <laughs> You're not good. Mm. Yuck. To me, this is a better one because it don't have that bitter taste like all the other ones. All right, so I'm gonna let Ari tell y'all what she thought about the donuts and then I'll tell y'all what I thought about the donuts. All right, you go first, Ari. So, I know about this, 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 this donut, yeah, cause it has Which one? Hold on, wait, we gotta show them. Okay. So, the brown one was yuck, cause that ice was yuck, and this one was, and, and that heart was yuck too, and this, and this, this icing was good, and this was this was yuck, and this was good, and this was good. Okay, all right. So that's all you got to say. Yes. Okay. So my take on it was everything was yuck except for, of course, the original and the blue. The the Barbie cake, the Barbie donut with the purple and pink stripes would have been good if the purple icing did not taste like bitter. Like the same thing with the pink Barbie. And guess what? Wait, let me finish. Let me finish. And same thing with the Barbie donut. Like the pink icing had a nasty taste to it, which took away from the taste of the donut. Now the blue, she said she didn't like, but to me it ate. To me it was better than all of the other ones from the collection. I actually enjoyed the filling as well. I don't know if that was like a batter. To me it gave batter. Um, so it was good. I did not like any of the toppings as far as like the edible toppings. Now with this, with the Barbie candy, this this was the better one to me because it had a crunch, like a bite to it. The other ones was more like a chewy paste. I didn't like that. Um, yeah. Uh, that's really it, though. And, Mommy, guess hmm. what? I what? was all of the candy. You Yeah, you ate all the candy. So that's why I can't even believe why you said it was nasty because you really was, like, enjoying it. Would you tell people to go out and buy this or no? You can buy this if if you want to buy this. You can buy it, or if you want to sell it, you can sell it. Sell it. Cause if you want to order it, you can buy. Cause look, there's lots of donuts. It's, yes, it is a lot of donuts. But is it good for people to buy, or like should they try it? What should they do if they're if they're thinking about trying the donuts? Is it worth a try? You can get, buy these donuts, cause. These are very good. Some of them are yuck and some, and some of them are good. Blue ones, blue ones are yuck and the, that one is yuck. This one was good. This one was good and this one was good. And Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> See you later soon. <laughs> See you later soon. See you later. Have a great time. <laughs> All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show y'all just some of the stuff that I got from um, the store today. What's a whole lot of stuff? Y'all already really basically know what I picked up, but um, yeah, I need to just show y'all real quick. I really just need to show y'all real quick everything um, that I picked up. So that I can go ahead and just open everything and take it upstairs or whatever. So, yeah. My name's Sissy Red. You know what to do. Y'all already know I picked up this super big vase. I don't even know where I'm going to put this vase. Actually, I thought I was going to put How it. How you going to put it upstairs? No. It's too cute to go upstairs. I was thinking I was going to put it like in my kitchen like right in between my two windows but honestly this is a floor vase this vase is heavy as hell i don't even understand how was it thirty dollars i mean it does have some imperfections but this is a heavy piece of glass it is 
my order from coach i went to the coach outlet online i actually had my eye on this purse um a while ago like i think last year when this purse came out and honestly i forgot all about it and then i don't know i went to the coach website because i've been eyeing the tabby for a while and i used to own a coach purse like back in the day and really like coach can school the girls for real so anyways hopefully i like this um this bag is called jamie i really didn't know which one of the two bags that i wanted so i ended up getting both of them because it came from the coach outlet and it was under a hundred dollars so why not i needed a plain black crossbody bag that was just perfect for everyday wear because i'm tired of wearing my designer bags so yeah i just wanted to give them a break honestly Ooh, i like cute cute what you think ari come tell the camera what you think okay what you think You like it? Okay, let's see. Let's take it out the package. Hold on. Can I pull that? Yeah. Oops, I got one before. All right, so let's see how it looks. How about me? Okay, let's see. Hold on. All right, well, so this is me. what it looks like. I think this is really, really cute. I love like the pickaboo of the leather. I mean, I love the pickaboo of the cheetah print on the side. Y'all know I'm a sucker for that leopard print. I love that it's not doing too much. Love that if I wanted to do like the whole reverse look. Love that if I wanted to do like the whole reverse look, I could do that with like the straps just turning it over like this and just wearing it plain and have like a little bit of a pickable right here it's real cute this is the jamie camera bag or something like that no i don't think it's the jamie camera bag i don't know what this is it's not jamie camera though but it's cute it's a mini something it's a mini something i'll come back and do like a what's in my bag or what fits in my bag but like I said, I just wanted something that was just simple, going out shopping. I just wanted something cute, simple, great quality, durability. Um, once I add my charms on here, add a little bit more of character to the bag, even though I definitely don't need it because of all of this going on. But real cute. I like it. I'm definitely going to keep this. It's cute. I probably end up changing out the straps. The straps is really not my thing. I don't really care for this. But the bag itself, real cute. And even Ari can probably wear this. Okay, Ari, come on, since you want to try it on so bad. I can never have nothing to myself no more. So here's another one. Here's another coach bag that was on sale for less than $100 during the Labor Day sale. Again, I really couldn't decide on which bag I wanted. Y'all know I'm a sucker for um, cheetah, leopard print, whatever I wanted. So, yes. So, there are different designs, but the same print. All right. So, they're the same print and the same collection is pretty much what I'm saying, but just a different style. All right. Now, I definitely get, you know, quality or whatever, um, but I don't know. It just don't give that for me. Like I think it's I think it would have been cute if it was just black. I don't think I'm feeling this. What you doing? And then if you know, then you know I love the clean skin towels. I do not use regular face towels to clean my face. I stopped doing that like a year ago. Even though you wash your towels and you wash, I've been I've been looking at the viewfinder the entire time. I don't know why I do that on this camera. It irks my nerves so bad anyways um i haven't been using like the white towels for my face in over a year even though i used to wash my towels with bleach um in sanitized in the sanitizer cycle hot water i still felt like i wasn't getting all the germs and bacteria out so i decided to switch over to the clean skin club 
towels i think this was like 14.99 or something like that it wasn't expensive these things are pretty big so what i do is i cut all mines in half and i use them day and night of course um but that's how i'm able to get more usage out of the i can't believe fashion nova has something like this the quality on this bag y'all is so good and it's so cute I sent this over to my friend um, before I ordered it. She was like, yes, I got this in my cart too, girl. Is that over this one? Yes. Look at how cute this is. Look at this camo speedy. Super cute. And it's going to be so cute with the charms. Like, yes. Um, compartments. Yes, I see that. That's mommy's shirt. My stuff. So I got this shirt, looks like this, a brown bucket hat, I got some leggings or some tights to match this, so I know this is, oh it stinks, this would be real cute to match my pants. So I am on my way to my sister-in-law bridal shower. I'm going to show y'all my outfit real quick that I got from Amazon. So just hold on one second. Alright, so I'm going to just show y'all real quick what I'm wearing today. So, I got this dress from Amazon. It's super cute. Um, I was going to return it because, I don't know, like I just, at first I really wasn't feeling it. Inside. It has a good amount of stretch in it. I end up having to get an extra large because I needed this literally tomorrow, which was yesterday. So if I would have got a large, it would have got here two days later and I needed it the following day. So I had to get an extra large, which I'm kind of glad I did because the extra large does fit pretty good. Now, if I would have got a large, I feel like this would have gave me a little bit more coverage up here in my breast area, which would have just, you know, made it sit up a little bit more. So yeah, this is the dress. I kind of also feel like this look would have been real cute with the updo, but because this is a last minute outfit i really didn't have time i had to go to marquee at the last minute to get my hair done so this is what i'm wearing to britney's bridal shower today it ended up turning out cute i'm gonna wear my gold heels and i also ordered like a gold um clutch from amazon it won't be here today until four o'clock so i'm just gonna have to wear this gold and black leopard clutch right here i think it's super cute as a little print y'all know i love leopard anyway so this is what i'm wearing today it is a cute dress i'm thinking about ordering a different color too so travis said he really don't like it like that but i think it's cute don't have to really wear a bra too much for the girls so yeah all right so i'm gonna see y'all in a little bit i may vlog at the um bridal shower i really don't know i know it's gonna be a lot of people there so i may not even vlog too much so anyways bye y'all sometimes fashion over stuff be stinking so I've been ordering a bunch of stuff from Fashion Nova lately and I've been tell I've been saying I'm gonna do a haul for y'all and I haven't. I've been washing the stuff, putting it on hangers and putting it in my closet. But I'm gonna just show y'all 
a few of the pieces that I've ordered for a vacation going to Mexico. I got a lot of swimsuits. Of course, I'm not going to try those on on camera because they're just too time consuming. Uh, so I'm, I'll probably just post them in the video of what I got so far. Um, I do got rompers, jumpsuits, dresses, swimsuits with cover ups, swimsuits, two pieces, of course um because i'm just embracing the body this year it is what it is so um i picked up i'm gonna show y'all pants first because it's just gonna be a lot more easier i was reading the reviews and everybody was like they're big so I'll go down the size and i really wish i would have just got the extra large because they're not really that big i mean for me the large is okay but i did want just a little bit of a wiggle room and these are gonna look kind of crazy but they are cute and they are tall girl friendly. Then I picked up these pants. I had been eyeing these pants for a long time. I read the reviews, kind of had mixed reviews on these. So I just decided to get them. I did get these in a, I don't even know. So I got these in my normal size, which is an extra large. I get all my leggings, jumpsuits, pretty much in an extra large because I'd rather just get them taken in and get them too small because like with Fashion Nova, they always playing with the thick girls. So I just rather get them too big than too small. And these are really cute. I love these. I would not say these are tall girl friendly. And I got this corset top right here to go with it. This is big boob friendly. I have never worn a corset top before, so I'm really anxious to see how the whole look is gonna come together. This did fit my boots perfectly. As I just said, it is big boot friendly. I'm a 38 double D for anybody who is curious. Um, and it does have a good amount of stretch to it. I did get this in an extra large. If they would have had a 2X, I would have definitely got it. Just so that the cups was a little bit more bigger, but I mean, it does fit, but you know, I mean, this year I'm just living in my truth, girl. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The tatas are big, so, you know, hey. Okay, and this is a jumpsuit that I picked up. Um, I love this jumpsuit. I actually, put this right here. I actually picked up this jumpsuit in the other two colors that it comes in. So it comes in a black, a tan, and this color. I picked up every last one of these. Now, this one is in a extra large. Uh, I mean, it fits. It is on the stretchy side. I do have still the Skims bra on, but my black jumpsuit, I did get that in a 1X. So it jumps from, I'm sorry y'all, I'm lying. I got this in the large. So it jumps from a large to a 1X. Now I do wish that it had a little bit more um, room in this because it is like that nylon spandex material. So you can see like any imperfections. I have dimples in my butt, so you can definitely see the dimples. I have cellulite, so you can see cellulite a little bit on the thighs where it is a little bit more uh, fitting right here, but then it loosens as you get further down the leg to give like that bell bottom, to give like that wide leg look. Hang hey, up too small, but because the girls are big, you have to just go up a size just because. I actually got in a 2X and I had to get this in a 2X, y'all, because if you're a big boob girl, then you understand. The girls had to fit. I would have normally gotten a large or extra large in this. Um, the skirt has a lot of stretch to it, but lengthwise, I think it's perfect. So I will definitely have to take this to get um, fitted because it's too big in the back. Um, I am a 38 double D. Otherwise, it's like, look at how much fabric is left. Like, that's a lot of fabric if I don't do anything to it. So, I really don't even know if I'm going to wear this. I just got it because I thought it was cute. Um, even if I don't wear it to this vacation, I still think it's like a little cute romper, throw-on type of style. Definitely giving vacation vibes. So, yeah. All right, y'all. This is another one. 
This one is real. This one is actually in a large. I would have preferred this one in an extra large. The reviews did say that this one is a little bit on the big side. If if you top heavy, uh uh, stick with your regular size or go up a size just because of the girls. We already know that. Um, but you can definitely get away with going down a size, true. Okay, because like the large is great for the lower half of me, even though I got a big ass, you know what I'm saying? But an extra large, I feel like would have just been great for me. If, if it would have came in a 1X perfect, I would have felt more um, comfortable with having just more coverage up here. So what I am going to do is, again, when I get ready to get all this stuff altered, because it has like a cloth up under here, I don't know if y'all can see this. Like it has a piece of fabric, like a cloth material underneath here. I'm gonna see if I can find something similar to this cream color and see if he can like add it up here so that I can wear like some boob tape or something because otherwise I can't wear this because girl, this gives, I, I can't, this ain't made for people with big boobs. It just ain't. I need him to be able to put fabric up here so that I can kind of finesse this outfit because it's super cute. And it actually comes all the way up here. I just didn't want to play with the straps because I got on makeup or whatever. But like, it's a real cute outfit. Do not get me wrong. Super cute outfit. But it's just not made for girls with big boobs. Like, look at that. But it's hella cute. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to take this out. Because the curls ain't lasting. Like, how I want it to last. Beautiful wig, though. But the curls don't last. Anyways, I'll see y'all in a minute. So we found like this little cute music boat that is four hours. It provides music, alcohol, and I want to say food or snacks. So that's what we're about to do. Um, so yeah, it's extremely hot. Ooh. I'm hold my little hat, honey, because don't need this to slide away. Because a wig is not secure at all. So anyways, I'm going to see y'all when I get on. Today we're going to be celebrating her birthday right here at home. We were supposed to go to Florida. As y'all know, every year we go to KC Key. Uh, but this year we're actually pushing KC Key back a little bit. Um, just because there's a lot going on with um, my sister-in-law Brittany's wedding. We went to Mexico. Um, anniversary is this month. Travis' birthday is this month. Ariana's birthday is this month. School starts literally four days from her birthday. So it's just a whole lot going on. So we're just going to push the beach trip back to next month instead. So, and then we was going to go to Florida, a different part of Florida three days ago, but so happened she got an earache on the day that we was actually going to go. So a lot has just happened. So we just decided to have her like a little small birthday party here at the house. I did pick up like a Hello Kitty theme um, at Party City because she's feeling um, going to help me set up her Hello Kitty stuff today. So let's go ahead and set this up over here. All right, so hopefully y'all can see us, or at least see Ari. Okay. Battery. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pin her with her little Hello Kitty birthday bash because she's a birthday girl. All right, it's your birthday? Yeah. Just a little bash. Give me a second. Put your badge on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move all of this stuff so we can put your tablecloth down. What tablecloth? Yeah. So pick up the Hello Kitty tablecloth. since I have picked up the camera um, today I'm gonna try my best to take you guys with me um, to do a couple of things for the for my company today oh is it gonna rain today hmm I hate when I get cute and it's gonna rain I feel like I can't really dash like I want to um, anyways so this is today's look um today my company is sponsoring two um two facility lunches um for staff members so i gotta go pick up the lunch ariana forgot her jacket today at school so i gotta swing by her school drop off her jacket and then i'm also gonna get some shopping in by the way got a couple of packages that came in the mail today so i kind of low-key want to open those packages but I guess I can't do that right now because, of course, I'm behind schedule. So, anyways, let me skedaddle, get out of this house, and then I'll see you guys probably when I'm on my way to Salad Chick or Chick Salad, Salad Chick, picking up the entree for today's sponsored event. This wig that I'm wearing today, by the way, is from my first wig. I do have a full video installing this wig and how I did my bang or whatever. So, yeah, I'll have the detail on that below. I'm wearing this blue. You guys can't see it, of course. Let's see if I take Drayton off. Maybe. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. So, I'm wearing this blue. Let me see if I put y'all on the tripod real quick. I might have. I actually forgot that I even had this tripod. I actually forgot that I even had this tripod. So let's see. All right, so this is today's outfit. I'm just wearing this little two piece right here. Nothing too over the top is perfect goes with my company colors perfect for today's pictures because I already know today's sponsored event I already know today's sponsored lunch is going to consist of pictures so yeah I did go to Pandora I was actually going to throw away my Pandora bracelet but I ended up getting it cleaned and it turned out perfect so yeah girl actually I am going to vlog the pocket three today anyways y'all i need to get out of here it's 10 30 i need to be picking up the lunch trays by 11 30 it's actually 10 40 i need to go drop off ariana jacket <sighs> 
So let me get out of here. I want a piece of candy or something. My mouth is dry. All right, hey y'all. Oh, is my hair falling? I don't know. All right, hey y'all. So, um, I picked up my order from Salad Chick. Let me show y'all real quick. All right, so I got a smaller container right here, but this is the order from salad chick so these are the mini croissants if you have you a salad chick in your area please try these out if you haven't already done so um this is a order of 36 um and i did get two of these yeah i got two of these um they look so delicious I wish that they had like a smaller one of these so one of the communities that I'm feeding one of the communities that I'm feeding is only actually um, 12 people there for lunch and I actually got 36 of these so I'm gonna take some of these and just split them and take them home because yeah it's no point of leaving them with that many croissants so yeah girl um, anyways so yeah I got the food let me run in here and drop off the food and I'll be right back Alright, so I came in here looking for a vase that I saw the other day and I wasn't going to get it because I do feel like I'm not going to be able to use it and put it anywhere and somebody bought it. That is crazy. Somebody literally bought the vase, y'all. Oh, no, they didn't. I thought they did. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Look at that. I love that. It is so cute. For $30. Look at how tall this vase is. This vase is so tall. And it is so hard. For $30. That is crazy. And I already have orange flowers at home. This looks a little too fake, but I'm gonna definitely get that. All right, so I put some greenery in there. I put too much, but I really like that base. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna put in it just yet, but if I end up not needing it, I'll just bring it back. 